Foreign Minister Didmir Bouchati spoke about the Greek negotiations, saying that the 2009 agreement will be approved on. Significant flood damage across the country following the heavy rains, especially in Fear and Vlora. Following the removal of Haki Chako as State Police Director, a new appointment has been made to lead the police force. Good evening, it's 6 o'clock on Monday the 5th of February 2018. Welcome to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Alexandra and I'm here to bring you the day's top stories from across the country translated into English. Albania will be much better off as a result of any agreement signed now on the maritime issue than they were when the 2009 agreement was made with Greece. This was the point emphasised by the Minister for Europe and Foreign Affairs, Didmir Bouchati, during a video conference he held with students. He underlined that the past government has made major mistakes in the past negotiations and therefore the resulting outcomes have not been positive. The minister adds that there is no truth to the allegations of the secret agreements being made. Based on what we have agreed upon for where we draw the line, we can guarantee you that from the preliminary discussions, the new agreement will be more favourable than that of 2009. Everything will be discussed and finalised at a technical level to ensure that it is fair, honest and applicable. The whole process, which started long ago, will be finally concluded in a good, fair and honest agreement where both sides receive what they deserve, announced Ditmir Bouchati. The minister said that, with the abolition of the law of war, new doors will be opened regarding not only the right to property but also citizenship. Regarding the Chum issue, Minister Bouchati adds that it should be treated as a human rights issue. I have no answer as to when the law of war will be abolished. However, you can be assured that the Rama government will declare the law of war abolished only after it has been materialised in a legal act by the Greek side. We hope that this law will be abolished by the Greek side within the first six months of this year. The Minister for Foreign Affairs continued. Despite the ongoing issues with Greece, Minister Bouchati underlined that Albania does not feel pressured in relation to its effect of the opening of negotiations with the European Union. President of the Greek Republic, Prokopis Pavlopoulos, has reiterated the already known stance regarding relations with Albania, but this time he included the Chum issue in his statement. At a meeting held with the aviation staff officers in the First Army of Larissa, Pavlopoulos stressed that it is pointless for the Albanian leadership to attempt to address the issue of Chamria. But as the two governments predict the signing of an agreement to solve long-standing issues, he added that if Albania wants to have a European perspective, it is better not to remember the history of the so-called chums during the Nazi period in Greece. Continuing with the topic of Albania, the Greek president also reiterated that the implementation and respect of international and European laws is needed from its neighbour country. He went on to highlight concerns touching on the point of overall respect for human rights before becoming more specific in mentioning the right to property and the rights for the minority. Pavlopoulos has demanded respect for international and European law also from their neighbouring Macedonia. Discussing the issue the, issue the Greeks have with the name its neighbour has chosen, the president emphasised that their name should exclude any kind of irredentism. He declared that changes need to be made to their constitution as well as providing guarantees that they exclude the irredentism and change of boundaries. With his speech coinciding on the day of protest against the use of the name of Macedonia, the Greek president stated that Greece's national affairs are, in fact, a matter for the whole European family. As of today, Ardi Veliu will direct the state police. The decision was ratified by Prime Minister Eddie Rama following the proposal by the Minister of Interior, Fatmir Jafai. Ardi Veliu directed Tirana's police after the departure of Ervin Hordai. He also has previously been the head of the capital's traffic police, head of the local police station in Douras, and a police officer in Vlora. In 1998, the 46-year-old from Delvina graduated his studies at the Academy of Order in Turkey, whereas in Albania he obtained a degree in both law and business. At the end of January, Veliu took maximum points in the competition that the Security Academy conducted, where he won the rank of first leader, a relative function of the chief of police. 
Since the departure of Haki Chako, the state police was led by Rebani Yaupi for a short period of time. Together with Valiu, deputy directors and directors of key sectors are also expected to be elected. As the rain stops and the water of the Vyosa River retreats to its bed, the situation in flooded areas of Fear and Vlor is also improving. However, as the water begins to withdraw, it leaves behind the true impact of devastation that has been caused by the winter's second major flood. 77 families of 350 residents have been evacuated from their homes. 150 hectares of land are underwater in Novosel area of Vlora and water levels have reached 40 centimetres in the village of Fedora. A 77-year-old woman who was found in bed in her apartment and in a serious condition was rec rescued and sent to the hospital for help. The water level is also declining in the territory of the municipality of Fear, although 108 apartments, about 350 hectares of agricultural land and 40 hectares of greenhouses are underwater. The Shkumbini River flooded residents in the Thanasai village in Lushnya for the third time, where water and clay ran into the houses, leaving behind significant damage. The green light has been given to the company that won the tender for the Arbor Road, meaning they can now officially launch their work. The contract entitled the Improvement, Construction, Operation and Maintenance of the Arbor Road was signed at the premises of the Ministry of Infrastructure and Energy. The head of the ministry, Damian Jignori, stated that the contract process was completed only after a long tender process and negotiation. We are very confident that the company, from the discussions and what it has presented to us during the contract negotiations, has taken all the required measures to deliver by the deadline specified in the contract. That is, within the year, to have realised the financing and actually started the roadworks. It is important, it is one of the most important pieces of infrastructure. A piece of very good news for all Albanian citizens, but especially for the citizens of Dibra, who have been waiting for this road for many years, remarked Jignori. It is an investment that will cost 240 million euros, and in this contract we have foreseen that the state will pay out the contractor within a period of 13 years. The contractor will build the road and maintain it at their own expense throughout the concession period, added the Minister for Infrastructure and Education. And explaining that this is the first experience in signing such a contract, Minister Jignori explained that they intend to expand the concept by continuing with other projects of a public-private partnership nature. It has been two years since the reform in higher education forced universities to change their methods of operations. However, despite the significant time frame, time frame since the passing of the reform, many specific bylaws are still absent. As a result, discrepancies regarding procedures for funding as well as the employment and titles for professors, scientists and other employees are rampant across the tertiary education sector, with the Democratic Party expressing their concern on this issue. In a meeting today of the Commission for Informing the Public, the Ministry of Education was represented by the Deputy Minister, Irvin Demo. However, the Democratic Party refused to continue the session, demanding the presence of Minister Nicola. I would like the Minister to appear on Wednesday. She must not continue to systematically violate regulation and the Constitution. She must intervene as soon as possible uh, to resolve the conflicts that she herself has caused with the adoption, adoption of the law. I thank the MPs who managed to be present today despite coming from flooded areas, stated Albana Vokshi, the, an MP of the DP. According to the SMI, the lack of bylaws is causing universities to collapse. Of course, the minister will be present in areas that have flooded. A national emergency prevails over any other work. However, the issue is not the law being delayed a week, it's that it's been nearly three years and now the universities are collapsing. If we have waited this long, there is no problem waiting until the next meeting. Let's end this session now and allow all of us to go back to our flood affected areas, said SMI MP Shazai Rokai. The Commission decided to prioritise the issue of flooding as a national emergency. Given this, the MPs proposed that the session be postponed to allow the MPs who are present to be close to affected residents.
And that's the news across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition this evening and be sure to join me again every Monday to Saturday at 6pm for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of Aura News, thank you and good night.